Hello YouTube friends and welcome back to my little corner of the big community here. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank all my new subscribers for coming over and uh, joining my little world here. And yeah, everybody else, thank you for still being around. Uh, I'm just coming home from work. That's yeah, after a day, full day of work with my hard hat on. That's how it looks like. I'm sorry, I didn't didn't go in the shower before I talked to you. I thought I better get on here right away. Otherwise, it might not happen once again. <laughs> and since my last video is quite a while ago already, yeah, let's let's get it the show on the road. Um, I don't have too much to show actually. I have something finished, but. Uh, the shawl, the crochet shawl I have finished, the um, cocktail shawl, which I could show you, but I don't really want to wrap that around me since I'm wearing my work clothes still and they are kind of smelly. Like uh, since I work in the, one of the biggest slaughterhouses in North America, I have a good, nice piggy smell on me. So yeah, let's not do that today. <laughs> but uh, I could show you one of my works in progress right now which I started I think after our last video and that is finally my sweater my sweater is finally in the making so it's not all too terrible far yet but at least a little bit right this is the front and this is the back well not much to see there really right <laughs> But I'm very happy with how it turned out so far. I'm glad I got it going. In the front, I don't know if you can see that, thanks to all the short rows and whatever, there is, um, I have two tiny, uh, two small holes that I hope to be able to fix afterwards. Just kind of sew them together a little bit and I think you probably won't even see them anymore. Now from poking around, one even got a little bigger. So yeah, I'll better be just fixing it up afterwards yeah and when I was just around the the, uh, the top here first I realized I had made a mistake and I had to open wiggle it all back up so I had to start again but after that I got going pretty good this is only maybe two days full of work or so so yeah not that I'm the fastest knitter in the world but well, at least it's going. I hope I'm not gonna get into too many problems when I um, when I with the armholes when I have to do that. I've never made a sweater before, so I'm a little nervous about all that. But yeah, somehow with YouTube and the instructions of the of the pattern, I hope to get it done. <laughs> yeah, well, I I am nervous about it. We'll see when I get there. I hmm 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 hmm. Any tips out there for me? what I could look for or what, where to find good, good advice on, in, on YouTube or something like that or maybe you have advice that I could use here I am waiting happy to get any <laughs> okay um, what I wanted to show you was I got some some yarn in the mail um, I found this yarn I don't know what is it it's not really a store I mean they sell yarn but I think they get leftovers from uh, from clothes manufacturers and and that's what they sell so it's mostly lace weight but I guess if you take it two with two threads or three th threads it's it sh should be fine to knit with it so anyways, yeah, I was nosy, so I had to order some. So we'll see how that works out. I just cut it open. I never looked, really went into it. So this is new to me too now. Okay, let's open this up. I ordered 900 grams. And if you ordered 900 grams, you got a special discount if you were okay with sending them the amount on a cone not in in little cakes you could get it caked up too but that would have cost extra and i figured well i just see how it comes and yeah this is this is called let me see oh i just closed my my notes here let me give it a check here Oh, 
Okay. Well, that took nice long, hey? Um, this is called Heavy Lace Weight. Uh, it's a wool, 100% wool. It's just called soft wool here. And the color is Blackbird. Well, this is how thin it is. It's really pretty thin, but I hope if I take two threads at a time or three, I, I'll be fine. So it's, well, what color is it really? It's hard to tell in the... Uh, it's a blue, gray, black, more gray than blue, I think. I guess I have to check that out a little more in the daylight. It's pretty dark anyway, so I think it'll be fine. Well, it's, it's a little thin. <laughs> not sure what I've gotten, I have gotten myself into there. And of course, one is not enough, so I had to order some more. Oh, look. And that isn't actually on one cone. They just send what they have. And this is two cones, I guess. There's a sticker on there. There's no sticker in here. It's in the bag. And this one... The color is called... B50, B55, a 40-55, well that doesn't help much, right? And it is, yeah, a brown. And all together it's 900 grams again. One bigger one, one smaller one. That's probably better if I want to actually work with it. But it's even thinner than the other one. This one is only lace weight. Uh, but it is, it is... Cashmere 10% and Merino 90%. So that's kind of neat, I guess. But yeah, it's quite a bit thinner than the other one. I may have to take two, three, three or four threads of this. Uh oh, what an adventure. <laughs> well, we'll see. I really just wanted to try. Everybody was kind of raving about it and. Hmm. Hmm. Not sure if it's good to be so nosy. We'll find out. Okay, and then I got my order from the warehouse in, UK, in the UK. Uh, oh, wait, there was something else in that bag, I think. Yes, because I ordered a few samples. There were free samples available, and I figured, well, I might as well check out what they have there. So they sent me those two. Let's see. Oops. So this is Color Mart Cashmere. Can you see that even? Why am I holding that? Oh, there we go. Color Mart is the company. Oh, it's not readable, read really. So, yeah. Anyways. Oh, look at that. There's, they actually have some... That looks like decay weight, maybe, number three, or oh, maybe even a four. Oh, and there's a thicker one as well, number four. So they do have definitely other weights of yarn. Yeah, there's lace, heavy lace, four ply, fingering, decay, and heavy decay, and Aaron and chunky. So yeah, that's kind of kind of neat. To try it out a little bit, I guess. Yeah, why not? Different colors, that's always nice. I guess that's neat. I could give that a try and see how it works out. So yeah, anyways, on their website, the prices they show, uh, they show only prices, I believe, after you enter the country you want to need it shipped to. And then the prices are including shipping. So you never see any other prices. It's just right away shipping to your country included so that's kind of kind of nice so you don't have to worry about whatever might come so yeah and i ordered this all together was 1.8 or 1.9 kilogram to canada so i didn't pay any duties on it any taxes so that's nice too it just took a while i think it took two weeks so i put a little bit longer to get here but my order from wool warehouse usually takes that long too so 
they are not the fastest one. My orders from uh, Denmark are usually faster here. But yeah, that's okay. The prices is what I'm usually looking after. So what I ordered for another sweater that I hope to make at some point is this Rowan yarn. It's felted, felted tweed and the color is avocado. I don't know if you, yeah, I think you can see. Yeah, 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 that's pretty good. So I really like the tweedy, the tweedy look and the, and the green. Mm. I don't think I've ever had a green sweater. And now I look at every color I look at is green. I don't know why. Must be something about it. So anyways, what is this? It says made with merino wool and alpaca. Uh, oh, here it is. It's 50% wool and 25% alpaca and 25% viscose. That's how you say it. I guess that's probably the, the Tweety stuff that is the viscose. So yeah, and this is DK, I believe, which should be a number three. And how much? How much is on there? I don't remember exactly. I think it was just under 200 meters or maybe 220 yards, somewhere in that, in that area. So when I ordered one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. So that should be enough for a sweater, for sure. So yeah, I really like the color. Oh, this, this avocado green is really, really pretty. And then I ordered also some Yuxcalan, I think it was called. This wool washing detergent. Oh, that's tiny. That's a hundred milliliter. And if you wash the wool with it, you can don't need to really wash it out. It can it can stay in there, no rinse, delicate wash. So that's kind of nice. You don't have to squeeze it out or anything. So just gently. So that's kind of yeah. I'll give it a try. It's not the cheapest one really either, but yeah. If it works, it works. So that's really all I had to show you. Not so very much this time. But yeah, I'm going to show you the shawl the next time when I come on. Shouldn't be too far from now, I hope. Okay, thank you, Mamita Santa. I hope I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.